business running as normal, John? Yes, this is. Yeah. If I wasn't here, you'd be doing exactly the same. Exactly the same. No difference. You're gonna leave. Give me that portobello clam. I need that first. So that's what John would normally do, just all night on the pizzas out there. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't come in here. He just stays out there all night. He's afraid. I think he's afraid of the kitchen. He's afraid of the I kitchen. I think so, sir. He owns the place. I know. It's crazy. Well, I mean, it's insane. As John seems content to pound away at the pizza oven, margarita sauce, margarita. The kitchen, led by Joe, is pushing out food at a steady pace. Pick it up. Right. Here is your pasta. But that doesn't mean the fast arriving food is pleasing the customers. How's everything? Um, the shells are like frozen. <laughs> it looked like it's freezer burned. All I got was rosemary. All I taste is rosemary. I don't taste any of the sauce. I found a bone in my sauce. What's that? A bone. I'm a vegetarian. Inside the sauce. Joe, two seconds. There's a bone in the rigatini. It's a vegetarian. And the tomato sauce, they put pork bones in it. What the fuck? She's vegetarian. That's how we do it every day. John is responsible for the methods that we use to produce the food. Get me John, urgently. He says, if you don't like it, leave. John, this, this is urgent now. A lady has just found a pork bone. In the rigatini. We use to give the sauce over, we always always add it. Sausage. So sauce. you're serving pork bones in the sauce to a vegetarian. Oh Jesus Christ. That's how we prepare food for the last 40 years, and I don't see it being a problem. A pork sauce to a fucking vegetarian? It's the way we've always done our business. But you can't serve a vegetarian a pork sauce. What the fuck is going on here? I don't know what, what... I had fucking enough. I had enough. I had fucking enough.